What's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm Natalie and this is episode 47 of the House Flipper series. Pets DLC as a matter of fact. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your weather's nice and fresh and thank you for joining me in this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. The majority of you voted for more freedom so we're going to be doing that in this episode. We're going to be starting off with that actually you guys are going to be getting three episodes today hopefully but thank you guys for all the support thank you guys for everything and welcome to our new friend from brazil thank you for joining us and watching these episodes hope you enjoy thank you guys for all the support each and every one of you i appreciate each and every one of your support and each and every one of you we are up to 128 subscribers as of the time that i'm recording this so if we get any more subscribers thank you and welcome to all of you subscribers thank you so much i really appreciate you subscribing and if you guys haven't already be sure to check out the last episode episode 46 of the house flipper series pets dlc which was the second episode of the pets dlc series just to show support in that way as well and it would be greatly appreciated so let's Go ahead and get started with more freedom. Lack of inspiration has been hitting me pretty hard lately. My creative spark feels kind of uh, dim, grayed out. Warm colors, fluffy blankets, and lots of cozy furniture. This is what I truly need. I always imagined myself in my scaly cutie in a lakeside house. Mm, with a wooden terrace and maybe even a small sauna somewhere I would be able to flourish as a writer or perhaps put more time into working on my paintings this might be the perfect moment for a change a new home for me and my lovely poem so welcome to the more freedom challenge or job actually not challenge so in the garden, we need to start off with removing some of the weeds, actually all of the weeds. And we also need to clean some dirt and clean the windows. You guys know the issues that I have with the garden tasks. We usually can never 100% complete it until after we finish the rest of the house for some reason. And there are times, there have been times where we literally have to complete the job 99% of the way because we just cannot find that last piece of trash that's somewhere out in the garden somewhere outside forever lost so hopefully that's not going to be an issue in this episode but if it is oh well i mean what can we do it's just a bug in the system in the game that they haven't come around to fixing yet hopefully in the future they will be able to fix that but for the time being let's just hope for the best and expect the worst all right so we're up to 50 percent removing the weeds and here's some stuff that we need to clean all this graffiti my gosh there's a lot of graffiti also this is a nice little cabin super super freaking cute but it's very 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 messy to be honest i wasn't listening to what she was saying in the introduction to this job but she probably was talking about how there was a uh, i don't know kids or something that had a party here and they just made a mess and you know yada 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 that's usually how it is but it's fine. We'll clean up this mess for her. We'll make it nice and pretty and prepare it for her iguana and herself to live in. Look at that view, guys. It's super, super gorgeous. Look at the bird. The bird is super cute. Okay, so we still have some stuff up here that we need to clean. Luckily, we could reach it from down here, so we don't need to get any scaffolding. So we need to sell the basement entrance. Interesting. I wonder why they want us to do that, but fine with me. Look at the butterfly again. Oh my gosh, we saw in the first episode the pets DLC. And I still love it. It's super, super beautiful. It's also pretty ginormous for a butterfly. But uh I don't know. Oh, and then also uh speaking of butterflies, the other day I was looking at this um video on YouTube. 
and I showed this butterfly that, that it looks like when it has its wings closed, if you look at it from the side, it looks like a dried up leaf. And then once it spreads its wings out from the top, it has a beautiful, beautiful design. And it's super gorgeous. And that's so freaking cool that nature is like that. It's camouflages with the surroundings. So we still need to clean some dirt. I think we removed all of the weeds already. So there's the dirt and then we just need to clean the windows. So let's go ahead and do that very quickly. Alright, so now that we got all of the windows cleaned up, let's go ahead and head inside. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, it's saying that the terrace needs some stuff to be cleaned. Oh, there's still, still some stuff that I missed? Okay, so I did- oh, also it's saying that I'm missing a window? Where or oh, where did I miss a window? Oh, right here. Okay, well, I guess we didn't clean all of the windows up until now. Now we've gotten all of the windows clean. We also have some stuff that we need to do outside here. So, first of all, I'm, I'm going to take a look at the house before I start to do any more tasks and complete them. Let's go ahead and through the door. Nice and broken for us. And then let's go ahead downstairs first to check it out. So we've got a lot of cleaning to do down here in the basement area lots and lots of cleaning that we need to do and then we've got a little room over here maybe there's a hidden room it doesn't look like it on the map but you know we're gonna put a lot of walls it looks like and um just a lot of cleaning then if we head back up here we've got the left over here it looks like a toilet or a restroom over here might be a bedroom or office and then over here we've got the kitchen area it looks like then the living room slash dining area then we've got another like maybe living room sitting area depends on what she wants to make it it's pretty much a very small house um it looks like that we're working with and then we also have the terrace that we're going to be working with as well so i guess what we're going to do is we're going to start with the terrace and then we're going to work our way inside and finish off in the basement so let's go ahead and get started with that
all right so we're finally done renovating the whole house so let's go ahead and start out with the basement so what we did is we pretty much built a lot of walls and made three different rooms in this area we are going to start off in the restroom so what we did is we basically tiled all the wall it took a very long time to tile the wall then we put in new flooring we added the toilet plumbing system along with the toilet and the toilet paper holder we added the radiator plumbing system and then we added the radiator a new door we added the ceiling lamp along with the light to turn it on and off we added these two doors we added the plumbing system for the sink and the sink as well with the mirror the towel rack we added this towel rack over here with the rug and the plumbing system for the shower along with the shower then over here we have a sauna we made it into a sauna we added all the paneling on the wall the paneling on the ceiling and the paneling on the floor we added all the little lamps that you see around on the ceiling right here and then we added all of the benches for the sauna we added the little bucket the little headrests the sauna i forgot the cold like where you put the water and everything to make it hot and nice and hot in the sauna and then right here we added the little thermometers and stuff for the sauna then we added the door over here we tiled a lot of the brick that we had to get rid of when we knocked down some of the walls and put in new walls we added this little archway to come into this room we added a plumbing system for the washer we also added the washer these lights on the ceiling and these two shelving units with the light with the light switch then we added all the lights over here on the ceiling we added the light switch over here we added another archway here, all the lights on the walls, and again, four shelving units here. That's all that we did for the basement up here on your way upstairs or down the stairs. We added this lamp, we knocked down the walls and added these windows along with the light switch right here. Then over here in the entryway, we added a new doorway, and then we added this mirror, the light switch, the clock, the lamps on the ceiling, the pictures on the walls new doors for both sides we added this little dresser along with the little candles on top we added these plants this little watering can with the flowers in it and then i think that's it oh yeah and the shoe rack thing right here for the entryway then over here we've got a bedroom so we added the lights on the ceiling this little light fan and then these lights and then the nightstands with the lights on top we added the bed we added the rug this little iguana light up thing and then the picture the dresser we added all these pictures and accessories on the dresser the plants we added this vanity with stool the rug another plant a light switch another dresser or wardrobe and for some reason we added a swing in here then if we go right across we have a bathroom so we added the ceiling lamp we painted the top of the ceiling like a beige color and then we tiled the whole wall it took a little bit of time but not as much as the bathroom downstairs we added the sink the laundry basket the mirror the towel rack another towel rack right here the bathtub the rug the shower the trash can the toilet and the towel radiator then if we come over here into the kitchen we cleaned up all this area we made this little kitchen over here we added all the cabinetry and countertops we added this stove range the little stove right here the knife block the little hanging utensils holder these two little containers the refrigerator the bread box all of these cabinetry like i mentioned already the coffee machine these little plants and also the little rosemary and everything like that then we added the lights on the ceiling over here as well then we added this rug and this huge iguana habitat for her iguana i mean it's massive but I mean, it fits up that whole space right there, so it looks pretty nice. We added a new door right here, these little poofs. We added this little plant over here, I forgot what it's called. The coffee table, the TV stand, the TV, the two speakers on the side, and the dining room table with the plant and the four chairs, and this rug over here, and then the bar stools. Then over here, the last thing that's inside, we added this little office. So we added her office desk, office chair, document holder, the pens holder the lamp then a bunch of lamps right here you can see with the candles we added this leather couch the easel a little footstool and two cabinets with a few accessories on the cabinets and the wall clock again the light switch and the ceiling lamps finally last but not least outside we have a little sitting area that we added we add a new flooring we added these two chairs along with these two chairs over here we added a bunch of the lighting outside here we added this chair 
Then we added this couch and these two lounge chairs and this little table with a little plant and another candle lighting. So that's going to be it for this job. Let's go ahead and complete it 100% of the way for $34,080.39. I think it looks a lot nicer, like way, way nicer. I love the way everything turned out. And um, I didn't like doing the tiling, but it wasn't as bad as um, some of the other jobs I did previously. Like, oh my gosh, why was it Jessica's Fabulous Magic? She wanted so much paneling and it was a pain. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad I don't have to do that one anymore. We got it done and no more shall we go back to it. Alrighty, so that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so we do only have one remaining job left here so far. Um, it's not going to be the last job, I don't think. It was just going to be a chance to change. So that's going to be the next one that we work on. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have been showing. Again, just as a reminder, we're going to be having three episodes come out today, hopefully. Just to make up for me missing about three weeks worth of, you know, footage and videos. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for watching all the way until the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, your night, wherever you guys are. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.